Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Trakulic and in this video tutorial I would like to show you how you can avoid the exaggerated distortion uh, in your drawings or paintings when you draw or paint using linear perspective. As you can see in our example here, uh, this house here is really very very uh, exaggerated, distorted if you prefer and I would like to explain you why this happens here. So first of all I would like to tell you that uh, I have divided uh, here my canvas into two halves. Uh, in the lower half here we, you can see the perspective view. I mean the view as we see it when we draw or paint on our canvas whereas in the upper half I have the top view uh, so I can more easily explain to you what's going on here in the perspective view by showing you uh, the top view, right? So, uh, let me tell you a little, uh, a few words about, uh, a couple of words about uh, the vanishing points here. And as you might know, a vanishing point is the point that uh, where the lines of convergence, as we call them, right, those lines over here, seems to converge and all the objects seems to vanish, seems to get smaller and smaller as they are approaching those vanishing points. In two-point perspective we have two vanishing points. In one-point perspective we have one vanishing point and in three-point perspective we have three vanishing points. In our case we have a two-point perspective so we are dealing with two vanishing points. So, by their definition, those lines of convergence that connect the, uh, the viewer, I mean, to the vanishing points, uh, have an angle of a right angle between them. So this angle is 90 degrees uh, wide. So uh, those two lines of convergence are perpendicular if you see them, all right, from the top view. Okay. So at the same time, though, uh, the cone of view as we call it I mean what uh, the viewer can see from the scene is also about 90 degrees uh, wide I'm showing you this here this fact in the pink area so this is what we call the cone of vision all right meaning that beyond this cone of vision we cannot see uh, anything because uh, it's uh, those are the limits actually. So we can safely assume that those vanishing points coincide with the cone vision, the cone of vision, whatever. All right. So uh, another another thing is inside this cone of vision. All right. There is another, yet another, narrower area, which is this orange shaded area here which is what we call the foveal or the accurate uh, you know the sharp vision if you prefer and it is in this area inside this area all right that we want our subject to be drawn all right or to be to to, to get depicted if you prefer in our, in our image so we don't want to use those uh, I mean, visual, uh, vanishing point one and two, because if we try to compress all the visual information inside those two visual point one and visual point two points, we're going to get some very distorted results. And uh, I mean, by, by, by saying this, I, I, I mean that uh, we want in our canvas right to have only a, a small you know fraction of the whole the entire 90 degrees cone of vision the 90 degrees cone of vision is already a very wide area and we cannot draw all of it so we want to uh, to limit uh, if you prefer our canvas right inside this small area by the way this point here uh, which with the letter p is the principal point is the actually the point where the line of view from the viewer meets the horizon line 
So it's a very important point. Around this point, we have no distortion in between the limits of the sharp, you know, uh, the accurate, you know, uh, vision, uh, if you prefer, angle. So, but uh, if we, if we, as we as we move towards the vanishing points, then we have a lot of distortion taking place. So, if the viewer tries to to get close to the subject, to the house, as you can see now, it's here. Let's say it's kind of like if you try to stick your nose in uh, uh, on this edge here of the house, then uh, you're going to get some really distorted results. And this is because, as you can see, the angle, this orange here area, is the angle that the house, the subject, occupies. Because of the fact that the viewer is so close to the, to the house, now the house itself occupies a lot, uh, 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 most of the, of the angle of the cone vision. Therefore, the, those edges here of the house uh, are too close to the vanishing points, resulting in too great distortion. So, practically, the closer those vanishing points are, all right, so the more distortion we, we're going to have. The farther apart those vanishing points are in our drawing, the less distortion we, we're going to have. And now let me show you something else. Try to imagine that you are the viewer here and you're walking farther away from the house uh, along this direction here, and you, you have come somewhere here, right? You came somewhere here. Now you're looking at the house, but uh, from a great from a, from a greater distance. So as you can see now, from the perspective view down here, it seems like the vanishing points have moved uh, away from each other, have, have moved farther apart. But this is not the case. As you can see here, the cone of vision has, has not changed from before. Let me overlay the, the uh, you know, as you can see from the previous example where the viewer was really close to the house, the, the cone of vision has remained the same. What changed now is the angle, right? Or if you prefer, the 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 uh, the, uh, the part of the of the of the canvas uh, or of the paper's real estate, all right, that the house now occupies. As you can see now, from this orange uh, colored uh, area here. The house occupies, uh, you know, a much smaller, if you prefer, area inside the plane, okay, of you, the image plane. So that's why now the house, as you can see, looks to be less distorted, okay. It's like if we, as I told you before, walked uh, away, all right, uh, farther away from the house. But uh, how we catch this? Uh, inside our drawing. I'm going to show you in just a while. Before this, I would like to tell you that now, as you can see, the area of accurate, if you prefer, view in the image, uh, inside the, the image plane, now has become bigger, all right? Wider, if you prefer. And that's what we, we want to do when we're drawing in the linear perspective. We want to have most of our subject to be uh, as much as we can inside this area of accurate or sharp, you know, vision. All right, so now let me tell you before showing you the solution to the problem that the great, the great master of Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci, advised, used to give advice to uh, his uh, students, used to, to tell them to try to uh, to draw any subject uh, at a distance that, that is about uh, uh, three to five times okay, larger than the, uh, the subject itself. So, for example, for a house with a height of, I don't know, maybe five meters or uh, so, about, uh, you should draw it uh, as if you were at the distance of about uh, let's say 15 or 25 meters. 
So that's where the viewers should be situated. That's how the linear perspective should look like. Practically, we cannot measure the distance uh, when we're drawing, right? But we can measure the angle. So the solution to the problem is to try to place your vanishing points outside from the, uh, you know, from the papers or the uh, canvas is real estate. So, so uh, suppose that this is the gray area here, so is your, uh, your drawing uh, board, okay? Or your easel, if you prefer. So try to place your vanishing points, be fairly apart from each other, so that you have the uh, you have not a lot of too much of distortion. As I told you before, Leonardo uh, advised his students to draw a subject from a distance that is three to five times uh, the actual height uh, of the subject. But we can measure this in 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 terms of angle as following: the three, three to five times, excuse me, distance away. Uh, translates to about a, an angle of between 6 and 20 degrees. So if the cone of vision right here uh, is, uh, has the same limits with the vanishing points, uh, you know, uh, roughly the same limits, about 90 degrees, so now we can say that this vanishing point is 45 degrees on the left uh, relative to this a line of view and this vanishing point two is 45 degrees on the right relative to this uh, gain uh, line of view. So we could divide this angle until we'll get to a drawing angle if you prefer of between 6 and 20 degrees. So if you divide this distance here into halves then this angle here is 22.5 degrees this angle here, all right, relative to the line of view always, is going to be 22.5 degrees. So let's divide this angle into halves. Now we have an angle here of about 45 degrees. So we're, we're, we keep to, to, uh, to, uh, to divide this angle, all right, until we get somewhere here this is going to be, if you, if you, if you divide in half those, this angle, or at roughly in half, you'll get some, an angle of about 10 degrees here, 10 degrees on the other side, so a total angle of about 20 degrees, which is an acceptable angle for a minimal, min, minimum distortion. You could also keep dividing the distance, or if you prefer, you could place the vanishing point farther apart from each other until you get an angle of about 6 degrees uh, so we are according to the uh, you know to the rule of uh, Leonardo okay so so now as you can see having placed the vanishing point farther apart from our canvas the angle is just about 20 degrees now we can draw our lines of convergence and we can draw our uh, house in perspective with minimal distortion. As you can see from over here, now the cone of vision has not changed, but the, uh, the house occupies just a tiny angle of 20 degrees, uh, which is acceptable if we want to have minimal distortion due to the linear perspective. So that was our tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with a hopefully interesting topic. Until then, have fun and goodbye.